Okay, drawing ISO lines. Okay, we have a field map here is what that's called, and let's uh, first think what an ISO line is. An ISO line is a line that connects points of equal value. So you're going to estimate um, where equal values are here, and we're going to draw some ISO lines. So first, let's just do this one. Let's do 70 first, okay? So we have this map here, and we want to draw a line. Everything, uh, wherever in the line is about 70. So let's find a place to start. It is always nice when there is an actual dot that has the exact value you're looking for, within this case, 70s right here. So, this is the way I teach it. You're here, okay, and your question is, where's the next 70? And if you look around here, there's not another dot that is exactly 70, so you need to estimate. So, where is the next 70? Is 70 between these two numbers here, 73 and 74? No, it's not. There's too high. Is 70 between 74 and 74? Nope, those are too high. Is 70 between 74 and 73? Nope, so I'm not going there. Is 70 between 73 and 66? Well, yes, it is. So draw a dot right there and then connect it to that. So now you're here trying to figure out where the next 70 is. And you're just kind of looking in this general area here. You know, don't look out here. So the limit's where you're looking right here and say, where's the next 70? Is 70 between 63 and 69? And no, it's not. Those are too low. Is 70 between 69 and 73? Well, yes, it is. So it's right there. So now, now you're going there. Um, so now we're here. Where's the next 70? Is it between 73 and 75? No, nope, those are too high. These two numbers here, too high. Is 70 between 69 and 72? It is. So now you go here. So I call this like a stepping stone method. You put the little dots and then you kind of just jump to the next one. So you're only just looking in a small area. And it really, it really helps um, people draw these. So now you're here. Where's the next 70? Is between 69 and 68? No, it's not. Those are too low. Is 70 between 68 and 71? Yes, it is. Put a dot, connect it. Uh, the next 70, is it between 71 and 72? Nope. Is it between 67 and 72? Yes, it is. And then you can go to there. Now, you're kind of down here. You don't see any more 70s. These are too high, too low. Let's, let's just try to finish it. Because you can't leave it, you can't ever leave uh, them hanging. So 70, from here, where's the next 70? Is 70 between 71 and 68? Yes, it is. So now you're here, and you're close to the end of the map. One key thing about isolines is you need to, uh, they can't leave them hanging here or here. So in this case, we're going to just kind of estimate and just go off the map, and we'll, we'll do it there. It's one of those, it's a very important point that often, uh, some of the people for, forget about. So that's our 70 line right there. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is let's draw uh, the, let's draw the 85 line. We're going to jump. Let's draw the 85 line. The 85 presents a unique challenge in that you want to start at 85. You say, okay, it's probably up here somewhere, but there is no point that is exactly 85, and that leads people sometimes to be confused as to where to start. But all you need to do is estimate where 85 might be. Let's pick a spot. If these are too low here. Is 85 between 81 and 83? No. 85 is here. And you can start anywhere that's 85, but I'm just kind of chose there. And then, so where am I going to go from here? Let me see if I can go to the right. Is 85 between these two? No, it's not there two eyes. 85 between 87 and 80? Yes, it is. So I go here. Okay. And let's go back so we can't be hanging here. Is 85 between 81 and 81? No. Is it between 81 and 83? No, that's too low. Is it between 81 and 86? 85 is. Put it out there. And then is 85 between 82 and 87? Yes, it is. You go like that. And again, can't leave it hanging, so we're just going to go off the page there and off the page there. Okay? So the little dot method and the stepping stone method really works. Let's just uh, show you another kind here. And we're going to do the, we'll do the 40 right here. Uh, we're not doing 30, we're doing 40, so let's find a place to start. Luckily, there is a 40 here, and everyone likes starting there, which makes a lot of sense. So uh, we're at 40. Let's see where the next 40 is. I'm going to look up this way. Is 40 between 30 and 28? No, that's too low. Is 40 between 30 and... Yes, it is. It's right there. So now I go like this. And then where's the next 40? The next Those are too low. 40 is between 25 and 44. I'm right there. It is 40 between 45 and 44. No. Is it between 30 and 45? Yes. So now you're there. Uh, f so what am I doing? I'm still doing 40. i got to remember, always I'm thinking ahead that I'm doing 40. Is 40 between 45 and 38? Yes, it is. I'm there. 
Is 40 between 38 and 37? No. Is it between 45 and 43? No, that's too high. Is 40 between 43 and 37? It is. I do that. Uh, next one. Is 40 between 33 and 35? No, it's not there. It's too low. Is it between 43 and 33? Yes, it is. So now I'm here. And then what you do is, with these, where's the next 40? These are all low. And I see 40 here. And these are, there's no 40s between any here. This is way too low. And you go like this and connect it as like a circle or I call it a loop. And isolines often do this. So sometimes you have to connect them. And sometimes you go off the map here. And when that, you know, you, you'll get the sense of it from doing a lot of practice. Um, just know all these lines do connect. This line will connect somewhere. It's just usually off the map somewhere. So that's a little intro to drawing us the lines. Okay, two things I forgot to say during the video. First off, use a pencil with an eraser. Don't use a pen. You will make mistakes. You'll need to erase them. Okay, second thing is this. Take your time. Don't go too fast. Going too fast is the number one cause of mistakes in this. Okay, so take your time. You do those two things and you follow the video and you'll be able to enjoy years and years of great isolining.